It's nice to think that one act of kindness will be repaid by another. But can one miracle be responsible for another miraculous event? The answer is yes, and our next story is the proof. It's a tale of two heroes. One's a firefighter and the other one is, well, a surprise. And it all begins in a blazing inferno. In the fall of 1990, an industrial fire in Santa Ana, California was the scene of a remarkable miracle when fireman Lorenzo Abundis single-handedly lifted a fiery half-ton section of wall to save the lives of two fellow firefighters. For his courage, Lorenzo was awarded the Medal of Valor by the California State Firemen's course, Association. The, uh, city Council and the mayor uh, all commend you on your heroism, heroism and, and effort. And... But his most meaningful reward would come later, when one of the firefighters he'd saved presented him with a special gift of thanks, a Rottweiler puppy that Lorenzo named Cinder. She's learning to sit. She shakes hands now. <laughs> Cinder was a, just a love bug. She was always near me, always wanting to be next to me. Uh, when I'd lay in bed, she'd come over to me, cuddle up to me. She'd always sleep on my chest, you know, as a puppy. And she loved being on top of my chest all the time. You're a good dog, Cinder. Five years later, Cinder would prove to be one of those gifts that keeps on giving. It was a warm morning in May of 1995, and Lorenzo had taken his dogs, Cinder and Reno, for a hike in the hills near his home. Cinder, usually the leader of the group, was lagging behind and acting strangely. Come on, Cinder, let's go. And what she would do is she would just stop, sit down, look up at me and then start turning her head looking down the trail where we were coming from. Lorenzo was baffled by her mysterious behavior. Finally, Cinder just lay down in the road and refused to walk any farther. What's the matter, Cinder? Lorenzo was afraid she might be seriously ill. Come on, B, what's wrong? So then I said, forget it. I'm not going to take a chance. I love her so much. So I headed back down the car and uh, I went back home. Come on, Cinder, let's go. go. When they arrived home, Cinder was still behaving strangely, and so Lorenzo took a moment to examine Cinder, her. Cinder, come on. What's wrong with you, huh? You're not feeling too good, are you? Unsure of what was wrong, he decided to call the veterinarian. Bit, huh? See what he got to say. And that's when disaster struck. As soon as I stood up, I felt this pressure, like something grabbing my lungs. It just took, like, everything out of me, all the air, energy, the next thing, I collapsed. Lorenzo was suffering the first stage of cardiac arrest, and without medical assistance, he could die. But the heart attack had left him unconscious. And then his dog, Reno, came to the rescue. But all I remember when I was waking up is that Reno was licking my face, moving me back and forth with his big old tongue in his head. Awake, but too weak to move, Lorenzo was in a hopeless situation. His only chance for survival, the kitchen telephone, was completely out of reach. And then Cinder did something amazing. She jumped up on the counter, knocked the cordless phone off its receiver, and carried it back to where Lorenzo had fallen. I was very weak. Everything was still kind of blurry to me. And I saw that Cinder had a phone in her mouth, and she had brought it down. Mustering all the strength he could, Lorenzo used his thumb to dial 911. The next thing I know, the paramedics are right at that front door. Luckily, the door was open. And they came in, and uh, they administered drugs, and they shipped me off to the hospital. Lorenzo was immediately grateful for the miraculous deeds performed by his two canine angels. It was a life-threatening situation. And my two little heroes, Cinder and Reno, saved my life. But it wasn't until later that Lorenzo realized that something even more miraculous may have happened that day. Cinder never again displayed the strange behavior she'd exhibited in the woods. It was as if she'd sensed her master's impending heart attack and faked her illness, forcing him to return home where help would be available. Lorenzo believes that Cinder's uncanny ability is part of the bond she made with him as a puppy when she slept on his chest, lulled by the sound of his heartbeat. She knew something was going to happen to me, and I think she knows my body chemistry more than I do. 
and she was able to know that my body was changing and I needed help. And it was her way to say, let's get back down, Daddy. A few months after Lorenzo recovered, Cinder was given the Dog Hero of the Year Award by the Los Angeles SPCA and its president, Madeline Bernstein. He was able to sense that this heart attack or something was happening and brought him home. And then the dog connected the event with the solution, which was to then bring him the telephone. And in that moment, Cinder became a part of a miracle. A miracle that had started when Lorenzo received Cinder as a reward for saving another firefighter's life. I saved his life. Cinder ended up saving my life, so everything went full circle. It's basically, I, I received a gift of life, and that was Cinder. She, she's my hero. I really believe that God will reward you if you are kind and love his creatures. You're a beautiful dog, Cinder. <laughs>